Welcome back, wellness warriors, to the Entheozen Explorer channel. I'm your host, Caitlin Thompson. Now, I know we talk a lot on this channel about how to boost feel-good neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, but did you know it's actually possible to have too much serotonin? In this video, I'm going to talk about serotonin syndrome or serotonin toxicity, what the causes are, the symptoms to look for, how to prevent it, and how it's treated. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is vital to a number of different processes in the body. It regulates mood, sleep, appetite, feelings of well-being, inflammation, and the immune system. Because serotonin is so influential for so many different things in the body, a number of drugs have been developed that target the serotonin system. Some of these drugs include SSRIs, or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. Serotonin is naturally secreted into the gap between neurons called the synapse, where it has the opportunity to bind to receptors on the receiving neuron and activate it. Once serotonin is finished binding to the receptor on the receiving neuron, it can either be digested by an enzyme called monoamine oxidase, or it's recycled and sucked up back into the cell that released it in a process called reuptake. SSRI antidepressants block this reuptake mechanism of cycling serotonin back into the original neuron that it came from. This results in an increased amount of available serotonin in the synapse that is able to bind to receptors multiple times until the enzyme monoamine oxidase comes and degrades it. When there's too much serotonin in the synapse, it can result in toxicity to the cell and serotonin syndrome. This often is caused by being on multiple serotonin boosting drugs or supplements at the same time, or having too high of a dose of an SSRI. Another class of drugs that can contribute to serotonin syndrome are the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, also known as MAOIs. As I mentioned earlier, monoamine oxidase degrades serotonin and other neurotransmitters that are in the synapse. If monoamine oxidase inhibitors are taken, it blocks this natural degradation process of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, which results in increased amounts. If combined with a drug such as an SSRI, taking an MAOI can lead to serotonin syndrome. Most often, serotonin syndrome is caused by a combination of SSRI, SNRI, MAOI, or tricyclic antidepressant drugs. Some supplements such as St. John's War and 5-HTP, when combined with other agents, can result in serotonin syndrome. Also, illicit drugs such as opiates, MDMA, or amphetamines can also contribute to serotonin syndrome. Most often when people are developing serotonin syndrome, it's because they are on a combination of substances that have different mechanisms of action to how they boost serotonin. For example, an MAOI combined with some sort of SSRI or a serotonin boosting supplement or drug. It's less common for people to have serotonin syndrome from just taking too high of a dose of one substance, such as a medication or drug. The severity of serotonin syndrome exists on a spectrum and symptoms can range from mild to severe. Symptoms can include high body temperature, tremors, increased reflexes, nausea, diarrhea, dilated pupils, and more. Someone with serotonin syndrome may become disoriented, agitated, confused, experience hallucinations, coma, or seizure. They may also experience headache, tremors, elevated body temperature, sweating, shaking, 
tachycardia, and nausea. There's no blood test available to detect if someone has serotonin syndrome or not, and most often it's diagnosed based on the symptoms that the patient is presenting. Serotonin syndrome is dose dependent, and like I said earlier, is on a spectrum, and actually serotonin syndrome symptoms are really just extreme symptoms on the far end of the spectrum of what you would see as side effects to the serotonergic boosting drugs. Treatment consists of discontinuing the drug that has caused the serotonin syndrome or administering a serotonin antagonist, which is a serotonin blocking drug, and cooling down the person so that their body temperature doesn't elevate too high. If the patient has some of the drug still in their GI tract, sometimes activated charcoal will be administered to absorb whatever is in the gut still and prevent further absorption of the serotonin boosting drug. Unfortunately, because there has been a rise in serotonergic pharmaceutical drugs being administered, serotonin syndrome incidents have actually been increasing. And while there is growing awareness of serotonin syndrome by doctors, a number of them aren't even aware that the condition exists. In a survey in 1998 in England, 85% of doctors who were prescribing serotonin boosting antidepressant drugs had no idea what serotonin syndrome even was. Now you can tell your friends that you're smarter than 85% of doctors simply because you watched this YouTube video. Luckily, serotonin syndrome has a very distinct set of characteristics that make it easy to diagnose and intervene, and often fatality is very rare. Always be cautious of mixing drugs and supplements that boost serotonin, even if your doctor has prescribed them. If you experience the hallmark symptoms of serotonin syndrome, be sure to go to a hospital immediately. Now that you know what to look for in regards to identifying serotonin syndrome, be sure that you subscribe to the Entheogen Explorer channel so that you can get all of your feel-good neurotransmitters from us, where you'll never get serotonin syndrome from watching too many of our videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe. Love you. Smile on my warriors. I'll catch you next time. Mwah.